the arc. Hey, Adi. What? That's the same thing. What did I do wrong? Oh, it's not fucking plugged in. Morning, new meat. No, I'm just trying to get my download running. I don't know if I can even get it done in the stream, but we'll see. <laughs> Gonna set it up. What do you mean couldn't connect? Let me type four numbers before. It said ninety six hundred was real. <laughs> it was. That'll be a lot faster. I was putting a space in the number. We're zooming now. Zooming. Royal Admin and Daxon, thank you very much for the resubs. Possibly get done in a stream? Hmm. Maybe. If everything stays connected. If it disconnects at all, we start over. food in the fridge.
think we left off about to chop wood. We finally got home. We were about to chop wood. I got the baud rate higher though, so that should download a lot faster than it was gonna. I don't know what the next step up in speed was. I ran the town with a diesel can and then the diesel can was empty. Somehow, even though I spent money on diesel. It was the first. And my van was empty too, which also a first. Like empty, empty. Meaning I must have left it running or something? Very weird. And I don't think I have enough diesel to deliver firewood. I see my trailer has loaded into a nice comfortable position. Fucker is stuck good. All right. Modern problems, modern solutions, and whatnot. I don't know, Metal. What items you're talking about? Are those the cars? Uh, I think it's about to pass inspection, so I'd say pretty good. Bush always freaks me out. I think there's a person there. That's him? Uh, I mean, no. I just think he has a schedule where he places. You can, like, almost hear him pop into the bar. I definitely don't think I have enough diesel to get... Delivery done. Oh, I didn't move shit down here, huh?
and where the fuck did that go? Weird, what the hell? Well, that's fucking annoying. I loaded it in the van. I did. Then the van was out of gas, right? I mean, I believe he died. He's old. It's too bad. I think. I don't know anything about the man to know if I really give a shit. But There's like no foul play or whatever, right? They don't know what caused it yet. Teleport on me. Stay there. It's fucking cold today, man. Stupid winter. The summer car, pretty good. We're making progress, I feel. Might be lying to myself. Put a log inside a log. I'm a lumberjack. That's okay. Get off my stump.
Aha. Boy, my hands are aching in this cold. Come on, heat. You can compete. On. I got my heat on. I had to just add a space heater. It got so damn cold. I think we're like single digits today. Ah, oh, that sucks, Slash. Unless it's paid time off, then hell yeah. It's seeming uh, very inevitable now, though. Everybody. Everybody. Is getting sick. you have to leave the home at all? It seems inevitable now. Ah, oh, it sucks, Slash. Does your job got uh, strict rules on it? I know our school just when weird as fuck with the rules. I guess they're having so many issues with uh, parents getting sick <coughs> and then starting their kids at the same quarantine date as when they got sick. So they end up sending their kid back early. So now if it's like 12 days or whatever it is, no, 10 days. 10 days if your kid tests positive from the day your kid tests positive or 20 days after close contact. Without a positive test. Well, I don't think this was that scenario, Zev. Because those that are knowingly sending their kids aren't following a 10-day rule to begin with. They're not following any rule. I believe that, that is, there is plenty of that going on, no doubt. <clears throat> but they just don't follow the rules at all. But there's a lot of parents, like me, who didn't want to test their kids. Um, because we don't want to make our kids go through that shit. So they just assume the day they got sick is the same day their kids got it. And they're sending their kids back a little early. Which is like not totally selfish behavior. IMO. As a parent, if you've ever had to put your kid in pain, um, it sucks. Five days off and five. Yeah, the very minimal one. Yeah.
That's the that's it, Zev. That's that's the goal, definitely. uncomfortable one yeah they're i mean they're i don't think they're terrible but i you know i understand parents not wanting to put their kids through it <clears throat> like i said under the assumption that they got sick the same days as their kid it's just i think it like I said the point was i think it's a total misunderstanding like a i, I don't know like who am i to i i believe people that are making an effort are better than the majority of people who are making zero effort I don't think you have to be a perfect human being to get credit. It's just my lowly opinion though. I wonder if you can get tests again yet. I couldn't get them when I was sick. We had to steal them legitimately. It's the only way we could get them. See what he says. Yeah, we uh we had to get them. Somebody jacked them from their work. They they worked at a company that tested daily because we could not find any for sale and nowhere to take one. Not without waiting longer than we had. My brother was traveling for the holidays, so we needed to know without waiting a week and a half to find out. People are fucking selling them on Marketplace and stuff all jacked up like they're GPUs. That shit should be fucking illegal. not illegal. Yeah, dude, the scumbaggery of individual human beings as well, which is funny. We talk about, like, corporate greed and problems like that, but yeah, people willing to 
join the fun. Can't beat them, join them. That's the argument, eh? Having morals makes us all poor. <coughs> Broken driving the tractor? Hardly. We got a $3,200 load of wood in the back. We're rich. I have no idea what you missed. How would I know? That's a question for you and the VODs. This needs to be all knowing? Oh no, not at all. I'm unknowing. No, nothing. That's my ex wife. Fins to the left of me, fins to the right. Am I the only boy in town? That's a Jimmy Buffett reference. <clears throat> I just wanted you all to know. Fuck, it's cold. I do not think my heaters can compete. Let me get a humidifier. And I gotta run the heat this high, it just turns the house into a fucking meat dryer. Cold as a witch's titty. Little known fact, witches have cold tits. Or at least one. It's like the first time I've ever lost control of the tractor. It was sliding like a motherfucker. I hope I have enough gas to get home. I don't think I'm going to. I really need to get everything to the damn gas station. I don't know how the van ran out. That fucks me up. Besides the tank was all smashed in, maybe that actually did something. Well, Captain, we need one month. How long until we have a supercar? I have no idea.
Oh, I'm going through about the same, William. I have an extension cord running across my house to run a space heater to keep pipes from freezing in one room that, in one bathroom that tends to freeze. Yay, shitty electrical. As long as it's a good extension cord, it's fairly safe. Fairly. Like a, a good uh, heavy duty one. The good news is, we just got short ass February and then dumb March, and we're free. Free from this pain. Wait, what? Is he not out here? Did I just dump the wood in the wrong spot? No, this is right. Isn't it? Oh, no. He's always out here. think to look because he's just always here whenever I show up to drop off wood time no time never cares about the time of day well the wood went where it's supposed to so that's something K Fry, I think it's 71 months. God, y'all are getting so old. Not me, I'm young and handsome. Huh. Do I wait and see? I certainly don't have the gas to leave it running. Ja DJ Teppo tässä morjensta. Niitä arjen sankareita löytyy monenlaisia, mutta kyllä sitä itselleni tärkeimpiä ovat olleet nuo taksimiehet. Taksimiehet, jotka kysymättä vievät minut umpitunnelissa takaisin. I'll be mad if this quest broke. Sen I have this another issue with a quest NPC that hasn't been outside that says he should be. Ja seuraava kappale juhlistaa näitä arjen sankareita. Goodbye controller. Oh yeah, cousin's definitely gonna come barreling along and smash my trailer. The fuck is that? What am I witnessing here? 
Oh, it's the caution tape for the rally. <laughs> Normally when they have a quest for you, they stay out day or night. God, I should have looked before I dumped it. I just have never had him not be here. Yeah, I have a septic tank that's similar. I partially sucked it like twice now because the guy's never outside and I always assume he's going to be there. It's on my quest board, but he's not outside. Come on, come on, come on. Guess I can try to drive home. I gotta get the Satsuma on the road. It's only Sunday morning, huh? To go get diesel for everybody? Except it's Sunday, so I can't even do that. Stupid Sundays. The worst day. And I'm broke. That's a fair point. I guess I'm just waiting to see. I ain't got nothing better to do. It is blocking the whole damn road, huh? Should probably move it. Watching the guy wait to get paid for his work. Trailer, what are you doing to me back there?
Morning, Ariel. Which state, though, it's irrelevant. Y'all don't understand the tax differences? I mean, he's paying probably 30% or something. Maybe even a little higher. Closer to 40, Tigru? Thirty percent, yeah. Morning, Lenoir. Where the fuck is this guy? Are you kidding me? What is happening? I'm pretty sure it's bugged, and that fucking sucks. Gonna end up waiting here for 20 minutes, and it's just gonna be bugged. And then I won't know what the fuck to do.
boom, 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 boom. How many paid vacation days do you get, Tigger? That's the one that always blows me away. You get four weeks, Dane? Where are you at? You're U.S., aren't you? Oh, you're Canada. Close enough. Four weeks. I think my last corporate job, I got 11 days. That was like what you earned up to as well. I think it started at 9 and I got up to 11. 24 days summer, 6 days winter, plus 100 hours. Plus two weeks, more than two weeks. What are your work days? Are you five eights or are you doing like four tens? <clears throat> two and a half weeks, yeah. After like 25 years. Four tens is a normal. Yeah, I'd rather work four tens for sure. They hit 40. Oh yeah, I know. It's, it's a believable reality. No doubt. It's just asinine. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm glad you're enjoying the VOD. This is the most exciting VOD where I stand here and wait to see if or not this is bugged without any. The VOD's been crazy, so I appreciate it. You're not on mandatory overtime, Juju? <laughs> I know you really like your... Um, Are you fucking kidding me? Ten days vacation per year, one day per month. Yeah, that that's closer to what I've experienced in the U.S. And yeah, it can be forfeitable, not savable. Can you save yours up forever? I have heard of places that allow you to save and dudes that have taken like 200 days in a row off which feels so wasteful but they don't do mandatory over them? okay yeah home depot has been surprisingly cool i've seen heard a lot of people talking about good from home depot but they're probably not much different, but <clears throat> I know they did a bunch of support with the wildfires in Colorado. The last number she got was 130-ish. Like, I get why they wouldn't want you to save it up as a small business owner, like, or my family owns a small business. If someone at our sh shop decided they needed to take off 60 days we'd have to hire someone else <laughs> it's one thing to fill in for him for a week but yeah 
Yeah, I bet. Do do. <laughs> she ended up just taking off Fridays. Yeah, that's like a few years of Fridays. Motherfucker. And I have no gas to get home and no money to get gas. You fuck. Where are you? Zaya. The weird part is we've somehow gone backwards in time, I think, too. Didn't we, in the last VOD, try to take Grandma to church? Maybe I just played for a whole week. Oh yeah, banking overtime is time off. I've heard of that too. driving home. I don't know if it's down the drain. I'm more worried about, I'm less worried about the wood being down the drain and more worried about never being able to do the quest again. I don't know how we would fix that if it's bugged like that. What am I doing? Uh, frustrated and confused right now. Sexually. played before, but the van feels uh, adequately tippy. I don't think it's overly tippy. And that's coming from a man who's flipped it 150 times. because I've definitely done it at night with heavy metal. 
gambling has nothing to do with it. It's what is the solution. That's all I'm worried about. I don't care about the problem. I care about the solution. Because without the solution, I'm fucked. Stuck to picking strawberries for a week. Should not have drove down. Fuck, I don't know what to do. I'm crazy standing here now. And that he's willing to pay me for the wood I delivered in the middle of the night. Well, it's still super early in the morning. It can't be but like 7.30 or something in the morning. The rally hasn't started running yet, so I guess I'm just going to give it a little more time. But I might have to just pretend the stream never happened and start over. I don't want to have bugged it out. And then it's an issue of... I guess I could just dump a second load of wood on it. Man, I swear it was always out here at night. I can't sleep. It's not an option. I literally don't have the fuel to get back and forth without him paying me. And I'm not walking it out.
<laughs> Derpy Cat, thank you for the 76 months. How do you know the game thinks he already paid me? How can you possibly know that? There's lots of other jobs you can unload before and they pay you after. never not been here so I don't know we, we, that the answer is we do not know somebody else may know because they played before but I do not know this answer besides wait and see my favorite soup I've never had soup or a bean so I can't answer either question a suggestion i mean but like it's it's an in my opinion it's assumption i'm not sure where your assumption comes from unless it comes from game experience like i just did fleetari delivery quests where i delivered stuff in the middle of the night then came back the next day and got paid i mean not saying you're not right i'm just saying i don't know how you uh got to that answer More like, I don't know where my butt. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it definitely seemed to favor to Rod. There's some like debate on if or not it only can be caught on your active rod. I don't know. I caught on all three rods when I did it, but it was like one, one, and five. Or whatever the number is. Almost all of them on one run. I don't think it's bugged for you. Most people had a similar catching experience. The Christmas event medal. Just catching presents till tomorrow. You can get all kinds of stuff. Or a bunch of junk. Actually, probably only until like 7 p.m. or something today. 
I finally got my bait harvesting to 100%. Wait a minute, you're still gently running? No, you're just gently smoking. That would be insanely high metal. Considering we have a guy who's been playing like thousands of hours and isn't there. He should have definitely spawned in by now. So weird, dude. I'm freaking out a bit. That'll fuck me so bad. Nah, people spawned in when I'm here. The real question is why isn't he spawned? He's never not been here when I have the quest available. I think I'm gonna kill the file though and just start the stream over. Start over where we were. We didn't do anything. Started the download. Because I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk bugging it out. I don't trust this game. just can't get comfortable today. Nothing feels right. It's probably because I'm not wearing a hoodie. Yeah, I finally got back on nights, but I slept like shit. And then just went to bed last night. Bam, bam, bam. Which sucked because I ended up spending like 12 of the last 24 hours in bed because I just slept so bad. Oh yeah, they gave out nine or something last year more and uh brop caught a like ten thousand dollar reel this year i think he's the only one of us to catch anything valuable why am i drunk why did i just spawn in drunk
No, oh, wait, it wasn't this that fixed it, it was this. fucking trailer. Did you get out? Thank you. Or not. I left the mini bike in town too, didn't I? So my only ride is my car. I don't trust fluids. They just disappear on me, I swear to God. not pass inspection my brakes were out which apparently happened seconds before I got there because I used the brakes to park the car on the lift to be inspected uh, my muffler had fallen off and I hadn't realized it and they didn't like my aftermarket springs I think They had a complaint about my suspension, and the only thing I could think is my aftermarket springs, but I'm not certain on that one. The gear changing problem is more of an issue of controls than it is a car problem. Don't, I don't have three buttons that all have variable pressure. So how can you do gas, brake, and clutch? It is low because we're not warm yet. And our choke is still on. Now it'll be high because it took my choke off a tiny bit early. That's why we got away from carburetors right there. They're not consistent. Did 
just right below my radio, next to my cigarette lighter. It's okay, anxiety. We just reset because things weren't working. Hopefully they'll work. Yeah, lawnmowers still have a carb. Kind of. I don't know that it's actually called that or not. I think so. Finish getting this car inspected. If we can uh, complete jobs. at the moment we're just not sure but I just leave my muffler laying there brakes are working because we ran out of fluid Why? I have no idea. Uh, yeah, no, I have no idea. As usual, fluid loss that I cannot explain. Okay, he's out there. idea, Dan. Cannot even begin to guess. It's rally day, so they're there to mark the track for rally. Yeah, cars are running great, I think, for what it is. Mm. Uh, any option is a possibility. At this point, I have no clue. No, oh yeah, he was there now, but they're discussing why he wasn't.
That's amazing that worked and the battery wasn't just toast. battery can't freeze if it still has charge. And maybe it can at like extreme temperatures. But from my understanding, a battery can't freeze if it still has charge. drain power and then freeze, yeah. But that's why it was interesting to hear that just warming it up fired the car up. They didn't have to put a charge to it. They just had to put heat to it. engine warmers, yeah. Um, most diesels have that here. Sorry, I was reading about this scenario with batteries because I've never heard this before. Sounds like the uh, truth is still out there. didn't actually shower. I wasn't worried about showers. I was worried about peeing and reading about this battery warming idea.
The fully charged battery can freeze at around negative 80. Yeah, I think I knew it was really, really cold. That's why I was just curious to read on the topic. Aspirin into the battery? No, never an aspirin. That sounds like some real good wives' tale shit. <laughs> a little life and a recharge? Yeah, bullshit. I'm not buying it. Sounds like some good old folklore. I mean, even like just that heating the battery one there, there's a lot of mixed opinions on if that does anything or not. Or if you're just warming the engine itself. Unless you get into like extreme temperatures, like unlivable, you're in Antarctica temperatures. But, you know. Must be some redneck shit. It probably, I mean, th there's probably some logic to it, no doubt. But, like, these are all solutions to other problems, right? But, yes, I do remember adding water to batteries. That is a thing. Checking the water of your in your battery. Could have some effect on the chemical reaction. It's ugly. I mean, that's all it is, right? Is a chemical reaction. So, and that's the same with the idea of heating and cooling it. Because um, the same could apply the other way, right? If a battery got too hot, cooling it down. In most scenarios, a cold battery is going to work better than a hot battery. To an extent, just like anything, there's always going to be the uh, the extreme variant, right? Just like electronics. Though there are some. Some last time I brought up cold electronics, there was somebody on about some electronics that need to be run at a certain high temperature so uh, there's always going to be examples yeah but a colder engine itself makes a diff more difficult motor to start right like engine heaters exist to heat the engine and the engine oil to make the motor easier to start. I had never heard of battery warmers, but it looks to be a, a gimmick that's sold on the internet. But there was a bunch of mechanics debating the which is which is actually being heated there. Because a battery that has charge is creating its own heat. Which is like we were saying, why a fully charged battery should not freeze. Unless you get into, someone said negative 80 or something, but I had never heard of temperatures where I... But, you know, we have, like, space and things like that with temp low temperatures that exist if you want to use extreme examples outside of real norms.
and people return them because they didn't work. Yeah, uh, in this scenario, they'll work for Tiger, so I don't fucking know. Beyond it worked, who cares? I was just curious for a learning point if it was ever something to try. Is it right? Is the battery too cold or is the rest of your engine too cold to turn over? Yeah. Because when your oil gets super cold, it gets harder to turn over. Things constrict at low temperature as well. So that's why we use block heaters. So. But you know, I'm always interested in learning dumb shit. Oil pan heaters, yeah. This guy was even, there was even a guy online there suggesting to wrap your battery with a towel after a, if you know a cold night is coming. So, you know, in his opinion, it works. He does, he takes the time to put a towel over his battery. I feel like that'd be a great way to eat through a bunch of batteries, or towels with battery acid. God, dude, get out of here. I need to start my truck, speaking of which. I said that like two days ago. It's probably too late now. I don't use my truck like at all besides to pull my boat and haven't had much boating. For ice fishing? We're just now, I would say today is probably the first day we have safe ice. The uh, single digits the next couple nights is going to really give us a good amount of ice. I went out yesterday and, and drilled a couple holes and we had like two and a half inches closer to shore. But you said to like jump. You had to like jump over shore. Yeah, dangerous stuff, you know. That's what I'm getting at. You're making me want to go start my truck really bad right now. I doubt it'll start. carry a jump box y'all like just need to replace your batteries once in a while and stop using blow dryers and aspirin to keep barely running <laughs> not for them i like car batteries are not cheap or anything, but like for the amount you have to replace them, <laughs> they're not bad.
Yeah, I carry a big, uh, like, portable electric generator thing just because it's super handy for all kinds of shit. It's similar to a jump pack, but I can also, like, use it for cell phones and laptop. It has laptop hookups and everything, too, so. And uh, AC. DC. AC. AC. DC. Whatever the house is. My brain doesn't want to decide right now. All your truck space for fishing gear. Oh, dude, the those batteries are part of my fishing gear. What are you going to do when your boat goes dead because you've been catfishing too long and hadn't started your motor? Yeah, I prefer my my electric generator. I can just plug in my battery tenders. Oh, this thing had a life. <laughs> Automotive battery tech hasn't kept up with electronic battery tech. Well, there are some high high dollar automotive batteries that are pretty extreme, but they're fucking stupid money. A lot of guys use like these six eight hundred dollar trolling motor batteries that are pretty nutty, but you can push start most things anymore sadly I remember the days though having your parents or your uncle have all the kids jump out to push start the car because it stalled we did that on a family trip one time every time we stopped we all had to push start the car only saw it in media I had to push one time to like the busiest red light. I remember being so mad at my dad about that. Okay. But I had to push his car into the gas station because he ran out of gas. Right at the light. So we had to go like through the light with everyone honking at us. And I was like 10, barely could push my dad's Nova. My daughter's friends. Okay, let me read. Let me start this over. My friends, who my daughter. Oh no, the battery. Uh, my friend's dad died. My daughter is friends with their daughter. Should she go to the funeral? That's what I'm trying to say. 
Or are they too young for that shit to matter? At nine. Probably too young, eh? How good of friends? Um, it's her longest friend and her most active friend. It's like her, I would, I don't know that she would say it's her best friend. Because there are kids she might like more, but it's the kids she spent the most fucking time with. She didn't really know the, the grandpa that died, but does know the dad and the kid well. We tr that's the family we've traveled with and done vacations with and blah, 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 blah. I could just ask them, but I know that th their answer would just be, oh, don't worry about it, none of them. <laughs> They're very, uh, don't let us inconvenience you. Yeah, you go to support the family, in my opinion, more than to mourn yourself. I mean, I'm going, obviously. I haven't even asked her. I asked her mother, though, and her mother's not on board. Co-parenting is a lot like chat. It's a lot of me nodding and pretending I don't absolutely hate you. Um... But every once in a while, you got to stand your ground and scream and yell. So I just didn't, I didn't think this one was worth an argument, but. I was just getting, uh, you fool's opinions. She's been to a couple funerals. She's. But I agree, it can be rough. I don't think as a kid I ever went to support a friend at their family's funeral. Unless it was a girlfriend. Ask Alice. I might. I haven't decided yet. I was really just talking out my own decision. That's usually when I'm asking you something, it's more I'm debating it myself. I just want to say it out loud and see how it sounds. She would want to go because she has to miss an hour of school. blame the logic. Yeah, the we're a very small town too, so I, I do think funerals are a little a little different here. Like this funeral there will be a lot of just people from my town, you know. We we it's such a small town that people will just show up to funerals purely out of respect without having any real mutual relationships. Just like we ate breakfast in the same diner every day for 42 years. Food funeral a thing? Uh, food, food, funeral food? Yeah, I think only if you do like an after thing. Freak, they can have like an after party. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. It depends on their stance, or their status in town. I think a little metal like uh, the firemen and stuff like that. Usually everyone just comes out. Or at least does like a drive-by even. Uh, 
here the farmers get a pretty big respect too because they're old time been here in 150 years their families have been you always have a funeral after party do you I think it's very common here for families to have that, but do not invite the same people you'd invite to the funeral. Funerals are pretty public here. It's gen actually, as far as I know, they're just public. Like you can just go to the funeral home's website and like check out the schedule and go. Um, But as far as a party afterwards, it would be like a thing you'd do at home or in a, a, a place that you'd, you know, set up personally. feast after? Yeah, we don't do a feast necessarily. I don't even remember what we did after my grandma's funeral. She was the last family member I had die. We did have a dinner after my grandpa-in-law just died ex-grandpa-in-law, whatever the fuck. That shit's dumb and complicated. People who aren't invited don't come to the funeral. Yeah, like, we even publish uh, the deaths in the local paper and stuff like that, and it'll have, like, the funeral times and stuff list listed right there in that. So it's very publicly advertised. Which is still a weird tradition even with the death of the paper. Nobody's had a funeral for the paper yet. Is there a newspaper that, like, put their own company in their last obituaries? Because that'd be funny. I did. I went and got the second wood carrier. Really min-maxing our wood results. Our local paper is still running because it's basically free. The dudes that write for it do it all volunteer now, and the paper itself is paid for by advertisement, local advertisement. So all the only cost they have is literally printing the paper, which newspaper as a medium is dirt cheap. They do still print it. Yeah, I think it's actually not done as a newspaper anymore now that I think about it. The last time I saw it... No, there's. I'm per, um, I'd have to double check. They do a uh, a newsletter thing too. That's just done like a pamphlet. But I'm pretty sure I just saw an actual paper. It might be for a couple of our local towns. I haven't looked at it in a while. I only look when like someone I know is in it, as if I actually care. I care for them. They're excited.
is already full. Save this wood in case we do this again. Maybe. Can we fit one more piece? Good enough. Talk trash anonymously? That's a sweet feature. That's just what our like Facebook people of pages. Do those exist? Those gotta exist all over the world, I assume. I posted one the other day that I thought was really funny, but nobody else did. Uh, there's a woman who is like bitching on Facebook in our People Love page about, <laughs> about getting actual honest snowfall numbers because apparently the National Weather Service is a huge liar now. I didn't realize we were pocket of big weather yeah and then <laughs> and then some guy's response was my wife just sticks her yardstick in the snow and i loved it i thought it was hilarious but nobody else did it's not like it's the worst way to measure snowfall or anything like that it's it's fairly accurate it's just uh the fact that it's even a discussion guess more than anything kind of broke my brain yeah that is uh, like when, when I did a class on meteorology uh, I think we like set up a what do they call it a measuring board or something like that which was basically just a flat surface on the ground with markers so you could go out and measure it appropriately. We had to set it X distance from any object that could interfere with snowfall. But what people don't get about accumulation is wind. And this that was the scenario here was we had like a crazy fucking windy day. So it didn't seem like we got that much snow because it was just all built up in the wood lines and ditches. Siphoning in seven months. Generally, yeah, the attempt to, to is to measure accurate, consistent accumulation, which is hard to do on a day like that where it was. 25 mile an hour winds. Static snowfall? Yeah. Doge isn't here to tell me all the technical terms. But yeah, we have days where we'll get three inches of snow and it doesn't look like you got any snow. And it's because the fresh snow lands on the hard snow and then immediately blows away into a, a drift somewhere. I don't know what the goal is, Ham. <laughs> no idea. My personal goal? To turn that car into a fly-ass whip.
Those are scary. They aren't very wide. I'm texting and driving. I have three levels. No snow, snow, too much snow. Yeah, I don't get why people get... S it's been like a very big debate this winter about the National Weather Service lying about accumulation numbers. They've also had some hugely varied estimates. We did have like a 3 to 11 inch, which I understand. It's frustrating. That's a very big difference. But It's winter. We get it every year, and people act like we just don't. Look outside. How bad is it? Do you want to take a chance and go do whatever the fuck you had planned today? Discovers winter. They just absolutely do. And like the unpredictability of the weather, like snowfall, especially where I live next to Lake Michigan, like they didn't cancel school. They canceled school two days last week. That's what really gets parents upset too. Uh, they closed schools, and then it's a nonstop. Back in my day, we walked both ways uphill, down, left, and to the right, and six feet of snow. But they canceled school two days in a row because predicted bad weather and the weather wasn't that bad. Uh, and now today the weather's pretty shit and it wasn't predicted to be that bad. But we, being by Lake Michigan, get some like crazy lake effect swings. And it can snow 11 inches 10 miles away and 3 inches here, right? Yeah, our snow gets cleared pretty good. Our back roads are a little slow sometimes. Our snow gets pretty cleared. We don't use salt much anymore. We've gone to dirt, which is annoying. I got rear-ended. Because it's certainly not as good as salt, but... Uh yeah, just straight dirt. Salt is nasty for the cars, but it's more for the roads is why they stop salting. It's more expensive than dirt and uh, incredibly damaging the road. But we're ignoring the uh, issue of all this fucking dirt we're just displacing too. The runoff of groundwater, yeah. But we're getting, uh, we get it cleared off pretty good. I live on a private drive that I don't think any of us really know who's responsible for it. But one of the neighbors just does all the plowing, he just enjoys it. I think he charges everyone but me. I'm not sure, but somebody told me, yeah, we give him like X dollars. So I tried to give him that two years ago. And he's like, no, nah, don't worry about it. Maybe he just charges them. But we have grand, he has grandkids in school with my daughter. So we see each other a lot at school events. They bring me like cookies on the holidays and
Halloween gift bags, and I don't do anything for them. I should be nicer. He needs a beer. I tried to give him a bottle of uh, bourbon that I won in a fishing tournament, but he didn't. He doesn't drink bourbon. is X amount of dollars. I don't remember what it was. A hundred bucks or something like that. Not a lot. Like for a year's worth of plowing, it wasn't a lot. I had a little rant yesterday on Twitter, but I don't think I expressed just my anger for... And I know it's partly just being a small-town hillbilly vibe here, but, like, my daughter decided she wanted to go see about doing the local pageant. Yay. But whatever. Dad's going to support his daughter's dreams. But it's, like, the fourth thing my daughter's getting involved in. Which, to me, is pretty active. When I was a kid, I didn't do shit. Uh, kids nowadays, I know they're in fucking 95 extracurriculars after school and shit. But anyway, the point here is, it was another event where there wasn't a single father. Not a single dad. <laughs> and I just took some time to realize I have been the only dad at all of... And it's not to... This isn't a humble brag. It's a frustration that, like, it makes it really difficult to schedule anything with my daughter and friends because there's no dads involved in their daughter's activities. So there's no dads for me to interact with. I do try to interact with the moms, but I understand there's a line there, and a lot of them aren't looking to cross it. So whenever it's like, oh yeah, Alice would like to play with your daughter, they're like, okay, we'll get a hold of your wife, or your ex-wife. And I'm like, yeah, makes sense, but boy does that suck. very frustrating her my poor daughter's schedule when she's with her mom is just busy 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 but when she's with me it's like sorry kid I have a couple of moms that still the <laughs> One married mom and the rest are single moms that still, like, are cool enough to interact. Just for our kids. That's all I'm asking. I'm not trying to make friends here. So I wasn't even going to mention that, Kake. There is one other dad. And I wasn't even going to bring it up. There is one other dad who is gay. And you can tell the difference. He gets the invites to the mom brunches and the mom breakfasts. And... Yeah. But I wasn't even going to bring it. But yeah, there's definitely some fucking shitty... I get it. Last thing I need is some angry husband yelling at me because he thinks I'm after his wife. No, I've known this kid since we were teenagers. He's been gay since we were in school. 
Yeah, I know these people, right? These are like, these aren't just strange. Most of these aren't just strangers. I know these people. Is he cute? No. Not my type. If I was switching teams, dude, he's not the... Yeah, he's a bummer. And he's not involved as much, anywhere near as much as I am with this stuff. He's like, but he's the only dad I see around. The other dads don't exist, except at football games. And probably, ba I don't go to baseball games because we don't cheer baseball. He actually has a kid uh, naturally. He's in a very interesting situation with a woman where they l have a kid together, live together, aren't together. friend's kid. Why has my tractor not been turning off? Okay, that was me. I don't know, I've never met her, I go. I don't know who she is. I don't know that she exists beyond what I've heard, the to story I've been told. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, frustrating single dad things. I should have had a son, apparently. That was the, the answer. I used to love to smoke. Oh, I didn't restart my download. It's probably too late now. Yeah, no, she's great. I'm not. I was joking. I was just referencing the fact that dads and sons in my small hick town do things together. What's the next? All right, I just did this. Oh, I didn't. Never mind. What's the next step up from 9600? I doubt it'll let me go any faster than that. Does anyone remember? 1440? That's not at all what it, incorrect. Oh, I typed it wrong. Bad setting. And it went back down to 2400. I feel like in this time, 9600 is right. For 1995. What are some other options? Let's test them, though. For 1995. 19200. Nope. I feel like if none of those are working, that we're probably stuck at 9600. 9, we'll leave it there. It seems to work. Let's click the wrong buttons.
It's a lot faster than we were downloading it yesterday. For some reason I couldn't get it to give me the full digit yesterday. Fuck you, that was right. A loop with a ship pumper? Um, I don't really need to, I don't think. I, what I need to do now is wait. I guess I could because it's Sunday. I need to get gas, because somehow my b gas didn't get handled. Do I have enough gas to get the tractor to town? I'd be gambling a ticket. Other option is drive the car, still gambling a ticket. Somehow the van is out of gas. I don't know how it had completely out of gas. The other option is drive the boat across with a gas can. That's probably the best one. Though he's fucking lost. I don't know how he didn't get our gas last time. Yeah, I guess boat across, fill the gas can, get the poop truck, run a poop truck circle. I gotta spend a bunch of dump money. Oh, I can't dump today either. Do I have enough space for the double lop load? Well, if I'm going to do that, then I don't want to take the boat. I want to drive my car. Yeah, I think we drive the car. That way we can get our inspection in the morning tomorrow. What the fuck's in this grocery bag? Why is that not full full? What the fuck? I bet that means my oil isn't full full again either and that doesn't make any sense dude. Why do I just have consumption issues? I don't have any extra oil laying around.
I mean, full isn't... <laughs> full is full. If you're discussing over full and overfill bottles in real life, that's... I mean, there's no way to test that. There's no way to see that. There's no way to test that. So there'd be no way of knowing. But my oil is that was definitely done full to its max on the dipstick, which would be correct. Yeah, there's no reservoir bottle for the radiator. I don't know. I do not know why I have issues there. It's all brand new and re-put together. And I just cannot believe that twice in a row I managed to fuck it up. I don't know that the poop truck has any fucking gas either to make a leak now that I think about it. That sure looked like it was fucking smoking. the fuck could be smoking? It was white like steam. I just drove it. Yeah, wouldn't have had time to get hot enough to steam. Hasn't been anywhere near that many accidents. Fuck you on about. I wonder if it's just cold starting it without the choke. Got oil pressure. What the fuck? Literally everything is brand new, so. Every single part.
Yep, brand new block to it. Every single part is new, has been replaced. So I got no fucking clue. Hmm. Just check the header bolts. It's literally what I just did. Right in front of you. Fucking no idea, dude. I don't even know where to begin. It looks like it's coming right out of the air cleaner. The only thing I can think is it's fuel. <sighs> because the car started up without choke and had an air mixture that was unusual for it. But why? Normally when you first start it choked, it runs at like 11 on the fuel air mixture and it's ran much closer to 14, which is where we want it, but that's after it get heat in the motor. But that's the only thing I've like, only diagnostic tool I have is the differences. But I, I don't know what you could even do here. The air cleaner wasn't replaceable. Sixty two months. God, I got no idea, man. My carb adjustment just ran. Hmm. 
This is the first time I've felt royally stumped by the game. Because it feels like it has to be an adjustment. Everything's brand new. It can't be something going bad. Seeking exhaust here, is this replaceable? I do not know. There's no point to rebuild the engine. I just did. I can't do anything differently. That definitely looks like it's coming out of the air filter and the carb. Like a hundred percent. Everything is new. Every single part. Could start without the air filter on, but I don't know how that would help me diagnose anything. It's not replaceable anyway. Yeah, I don't know. That sucks. Been bad from the manufacturer? Sure. But then I quit. Because there's no way to tell. So I'm not just going to continue to replace every single part in the engine over and over and over without ever having any way to determine if or not it's bad. Could be. Could be something to do with losing coolant, but I don't know how or why I'm losing any coolant anyway. Again, every part's been replaced. Can't replace the hoses.
Every single part that I can buy has been bought. There are parts the game weirdly doesn't allow you to replace. Things like hoses that are definitely a wearing part, but... Like, the only thing I can even begin to think is somehow my fucking carburetor adjustment just changed. That doesn't make any fucking sense. The fuel air mix was off. That's the only, like, the only factor I have to say that I think it's fuel air related. Because, uh... Well, now it's right. Ish. No, that's off a little, I think. No, now it's back to normal-ish. So there goes that theory. Yeah, until water engine warms up a bit. I mean, everyone keeps saying exhaust leak, but <laughs> where's the what? What's the part that's wrong? Because you can't replace the manifold, so unless it's the actual exhaust pipe, I didn't try to replace the exhaust pipe. but I highly doubt it's replaceable. The muffler wasn't. There are no valves to replace. They're not gasketed. I guess the answer is something brand new I bought is broken. But rockers, right? I mean, I guess, yeah. My rockers just shot already. The problem is if I do this, I'm vehicleless. Oh well, whatever. I'm frustrated by this one, man. But you'll never know, Dingo. That's if if there's this underlying things can be bought bought brand new and be broken, you'll never know. You'll besides them just breaking again. So replacing them until replacing them before they just explode is pointless.
rockers there there unless it needs a regularly scheduled adjustment never smoked before off my rocker adjustment though I got no fucking clue, man. Maybe the game is being weird. Doubt that. And those are right where I had them. That didn't change. It did change. Oh no, I've fucked it now. I've gotten my which way's which confused. Shit. Right. Or right where they had them. That it's been running just fine. Actually the best it's ever run. I just did that, Dingo. Literally. Just did that. So there's no point in doing it again. <laughs> I won't be solving anything by doing that. I'll just be doing it again. It's all built with brand new parts and drove around fine and then now all of a sudden is smoking.
I guess I just have to drive it till it blows up. Because I don't know. And see what blew up. And then try to diagnose it. distributor has never caused it to smoke. I've adjusted the distributor to about every single possible adjustment in an attempt to solve its puzzle and has never caused it to smoke before. Can Flutari fix it? Maybe. Don't know what it is. We did not. We were just about to go back for our inspection tomorrow because it ran great. It passed the inspection for all of the performance the only things that failed were like dumb little issues. That's what I'm saying. It was running perfectly fine after we rebuilt it with all new parts. And if parts only make it six kilometers, I got nothing, man. Which would lead me to believe it has to be an adjustment. I just don't know what would have changed for why it it would need an adjustment. Yeah, nothing changed. The head gasket too. I mean, I'll take it off there. Brand new head gasket. If that's the case, there's something critically wrong with my assembly that I'm burning brand new head gaskets up in six kilometers. If that's the case, Melman, then I will uninstall the game because there's no way to tell. So. How would you ever know if you got a good part or not? You would never know. Yes, it's fine. I'm going to loosen these and then assemble it and retighten those. Let's just put the part back on without shoving my car into oblivion. No? No? We're gonna just shove the car all over hell? Okay. All right, all right.
Fuck, I've never had problems getting this to reattach. I cannot get the angle right. I mean, I already saw it, chat, and it's whatever, because it's a brand new head gasket, so, like, <laughs> if that's the case... We already went over, if that's the case... I have no solution, because that means my car just eats head gaskets every 12 kilometers or some shit. But the, the bug was to do with if you replaced it recently, AG, and I didn't. We drove it. I know everyone is trying to help, but, like, it's frustrating because they're trying to help from now. From the perspective of now, not the perspective of, hey, I've been here for the last four hours and I understand the steps you've taken to get to this issue. I completely rebuilt the car with new parts. Drove it once. Twice. Drove it twice. Parked it. Went back out the next morning to start it. And it's smoking. So, either in two drives, brand new parts have gone bad. Or I have fucked something up that I can't solve. I don't overheat. I've never overheated it since it's been rebuilt. I stare at my gauges. I leak like the smallest amount of coolant, which I don't understand either because it's brand everything's brand new. That's why I replaced everything, actually, is because I was sick of leaking fluid. Maybe your coolant was overfilled. How would you ever know? There's no overflow bottle. There's no way to measure coolant besides the game says it's full. seems far worse which is weird since I didn't do anything but take it apart and put it back together yeah I don't know it's hard to tell if it's worse Don't know, man. Got no idea.
still got a ways to go. Somehow my van ran out of gas. I have no idea. Completely out of gas. Yeah, it's sad it doesn't download through sleep. I got no other answer. Oh, I should let it warm up, eh? Didn't wait long enough. Oh, it runs like shit too, huh? Who'd have thought? Smoking runs like shit. Yeah, that's nutty, dude. Something fucking broke already. Choke it is just getting your temperature right. Bottom, it runs fine now that its temperature is where it needs to be. Or the fuel air mixture is fine with it when the temperature gets to where it needs to be. You'll never have a fuel air mixture right in all conditions with a carburetor.
attempt seems a little higher than I remember, but for as little as we've run it, but maybe I'm wrong. But it's gonna blow. I'm sure. Something there. Another fire? We're not hot enough for a fire yet. Temps going down to Nato. We didn't pass inspection, but mechanically we did. We just didn't. Well, yeah, whatever. I had a couple of things I just had to change. I had to change back out my springs that I had put on, and uh, my muffler had fallen off, and I didn't realize it. So that's interesting. It passed EPA without a muffler. So I guess we don't got to worry too bad about EPA like I thought. I doubt it would pass the EPA test now. It wasn't smoking like this when we took this inspection last time. The fuck, who knows? Maybe I'll go get inspected again. It's 10 minutes and 300 bucks. It'd be funny to pass like this. Gives you like brief flies, yeah. But like, if I failed EPA because I'm smoking out of the engine, that's not going to help me diagnose my issue. Like, I'm not sure I fixed the suspension problem. I thought it was, I think it was because I put on bigger springs, but I'm not certain. I may actually need to get my suspension mounts fixed. There is a map, but I haven't memorized. It's actually incredibly simple. It's two circles. We live on a lake, so it's just two circles around the lake. The dirt road. Oh, buddy. The dirt road and then the highway. And so it's just a matter of remembering what direction to go on the circle for the shortest route. But you'll get there no matter what way you go. I 
guess it's not even two full circles, like one and a half circles. Intersecting circles. I don't think I have my tools with me, do I? Should. There's nothing in the trunk because I can't get it to open anymore. Yeah, that was my bumper. Triangle's in there. And that seemed to be good enough because that's all we had last time. Was it just in the car? They didn't give a fuck we didn't have a bumper, but we're going to put it back on anyway. Pretty lenient inspections here. somehow holding the bumper on sticking a bolt out of the back of the car <laughs> did I think I was going to like this game before I started playing it uh yeah I thought I'd have fun with that I didn't think I'd play it this long but I definitely predicted to have fun with it, or I wouldn't have touched it. Pretty picky about my gaming. My bad. Jesus Christ, lunatics. We are everything for the 15 months. That's the brand new gearbox, yep. Diesel. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily mean there's anything terribly wrong with it. I don't know why my diesel disappeared last time. Could 
poop truck for all of our vehicles. We have really slacked on fueling up, apparently. My van is empty. My tractor is almost empty. The poop truck's parked right over here, so it's not a big deal. Nope, it's, uh, well, maybe in Finland it's furnace oil, but I think it's farm diesel. IRL, where I'm from, that's farm diesel, which we're breaking the law if we use it for anything. Not farm related, but I don't give a fuck. I'm broke. They may use some sort of diesel for furnaces. I'm unaware of the life of Finland. IRL, there's an additive to it, like a color additive. So you know the difference. Where I'm from. I'm gonna do it for fun, but we'll most definitely fail. Oh no! It's almost too narrow. My muffler is still on there. Good. This is why I can't afford to get diesel. Stab the bottom with a screwdriver. That'll tell you what's wrong with it. Hole in your gas tank. Some of the U.S. does, Sig, just not everywhere. I'm getting, not getting neither baby chickens or eggs. Fucking A, bud! Uh, it depends on the state. We, we don't, state laws vary, Sig. Yep, you can't get your license plate if you don't pass in certain states. America is like the EU in the sense that uh, we have federal laws that affect everywhere and then individual state laws. I don't think those have to be tightened.
Is that what it says? What a piece of junk right there? Don't matter though, we got illegal. It's a pile of junk, we both know it. Well, that's rude. Oh no, it's over there. Now to save up a small fortune for performance parts. Oh, they do know jungle. I paid a $10,000 fine for dumping that shit on his yard. Oh, that's a good noise. Techno. But I didn't drive the car after the fire, Bunsen. I mean, like twice. That's what I'm gonna say. I did. I did add extra kilometers to the fact that I drove it a few times before the complete en engine rebuild with the head gasket. But you're still talking about a head gasket that is less than 20 kilometers of use. Oh, you're suggesting that when I reset my save file, I never bought the head gasket at all. Is that what you're suggesting? KJ, thank you for the 47 months. I don't believe that's true. but I guess I can replace it and find out. So it's not leaking anything out the front of it. Nah, they're cheap, but I just didn't want to get into this. Let's replace all these parts we just replaced or we're gonna be in a never ending cycle.
Well, I did that offline, Bunsen. So, you wouldn't find that when I reset my save file. I mean, that's what we did, Daniel, is the best option you can do. But I guess there is a chance that when I was offline resetting my save file, I didn't do my head gasket. I guess there is a chance. I blew the head gasket, though, so I don't know how I wouldn't have done it. I lit the car on fire. Should have dumped this before I filled this. Get off me hair. It's probably enough to get the jobs done I want to do. I'm done Wordle yet. Today you fucked me and it shouldn't have. That's my tip to you. I didn't lose, but I got scared. That game makes me feel smart, and I like that about it. That's definitely enough. Oh, this gas is so cheap. Actually, as cheap as that, I think that's a very cheap price. I'm going to go for full, I guess. No idea what the blocks mean. It's uh, the letters you got right in guessing the word. Green means the correct letter in the correct place. Yellow means the correct letter. So it's like the progression of solving the word, right? If they're all black, it means you the first word you guessed was none of the letters were shared with the word you're looking for. I got five out of six today, I think, for my first time or second time. Yeah, one, three, three, fours, two, fives. Yeah, I'm sure there's even like a, holy shit, sunshine. 
I'm sure there's even like a best first word wordle strategy that exists. But I do the same thing basically. The problem with the Wheel of Fortune method is unlike Wheel of Fortune, as I just learned a couple days ago where it almost got me, you can have duplicate letters. You can have duplicate letters in Wheel of Fortune, but when you guess an E, you get all the E's, right? That's a pretty crazy second try on that word. I uh, don't even know what it is. It just sounded like a word. I feel like I've heard it, but I have no clue what it is. Banal? Is that how that's pronounced? That would be my guess of the pronunciation, and that sounds like a word I've heard. Like boring? That would have been my guess. And the correct pronunciation. Yeah. I try not to just guess words, but that was the first one where um, I was like, truly. It was the double vowel that really threw me for a loop, though. I think so. I got like all four letters except the first one, so I was down to like five consonant options. So. <laughs> Is it a Z or an X? You probably can drive off without paying, but I don't know if he charges you for it or if you can get fined for it or what. I want to buy oil. I, I assume it's definitely not banal, but it should be. Anyone down for a little banal? Ah, uh, just be anal. Don't even try to. Banal. This gameplay is so banal. Yeah, that sounds right. Black Lake Sturgeon. I don't even know where Black Lake is. Oh wait, you mean Black Lake Sturgeon. No. Um, it's too fucking cold, dude. <laughs> I've always wanted to do it, but it's too fucking cold, dude. Lacking originality. I'm so horrible at fucking driving this truck in here. Maybe if I... Ooh, that feels pretty good. It doesn't look as good as it felt. It's not too bad. Oops, sorry about that. I 
think I can squeeze in from here. You lose, Brandland? That makes me feel so much smarter. I thought it was just not that hard of a game. I mean, they can't stop you from accidentally catching them anyway, Juju. But that must have been people keeping them then that they're talking about? I mean, I would never keep one anyway. I don't know why any, that's like the weirdest bit thing to do to keep when like fish, there's so many other fish that are super sustainable while you would keep a 50 year old sturgeon. Their eggs is it, caviar's annual. Yeah, do do. I, I fuck anybody who decided to keep one in the first eight hours. It's pretty dumb and gross I think. <laughs> if they were an excellent delicacy or something like that we would have heard about it by now But Michigan got rid of the, they used to have laws where we weren't allowed to fish for species outside of their season where you could keep them. That was dumb. Because, like, you can't really help it. So this guy's septic is fucked up, and I think I just have to, s I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever be able to fix that one now that I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna bite the bullet and suck it dry though, just to see. He never, he never paid me, but it still says he wants me to suck it. But he's not out here to ever pay me. full full again too. I've like partially sucked it three times and couldn't fit it all. find out.
Yeah, Juju, that's pretty sweet, though. We just got like a month and a half, no, two in the, two months. I'll have my un boat uncovered in two months. That'll be what, March 10th? All right, maybe not quite March 10th. Two and a half months, but one of them is a short month. God, I cannot wait, dude. I'm going fucking crazy in this house. can fall into it. We committed suicide in one once. Alright, I think that's empty. You can never actually suck them completely clean. Home improvements next winter? I don't have any money, dude. <laughs> any. I'll be happy if I still own my home next year. I didn't look at the gauge. I think it's, I think you can get four in though. Yeah, April 1st, the big lake marinas are usually slower to get rolling, which makes sense. I gotta sell my pontoon at the start of next year. Crazy there isn't any other option, Juju. We used to be able to get in early, you just had to go to the bigger marinas. I remember we were in early, so early one year with our sail, we had to go out there and break ice because we were worried about it fucking up the hole. Not just trailers in though. You don't have to be hoisted in or anything, do you? We have to get hoisted in with sailboats. Oh, 
Oh, the, you're talking the slips are floating docks. They're not permanent docks? Ah, ours are all pylons, wooden, permanent, year-round. Loading docks. Oh. That makes more sense why you can't get in early. Wow, Zicha. Your dog shouldn't have been there. That ain't my fault. Thank you for the night. What the fuck? Thank you for the 98 bits. Checking my phone. I might try a little ice fishing this year just because I'm so fucking bored. But I don't have like any gear. I have like one shitty cheapo pole. And like three lures. There's no way to stream the ice fishing. Yeah, one of them little tiny ones, but it's like a, the reel is just like a plastic spool. Like the real cheap $5 Walmart. My brother-in-law gave me an okay pole, but I think the reel is jank and that's why he gave it to me. But, uh, cause the thing you need to be able to let line out, right? Easily let line out to go up and down. So like a conventional reel almost. Not really any ice fishing in the past. A little bit. I, I don't like being on the ice. It freaks me out. I also hate the cold. Last year or the year before, Alice and I did a little bit. She caught fish. I did not. Ice fishing seems more like a uh, hobby for those who want to eat a fuck ton of fish. Like it's really good for panfish and stuff like that, but the sports side of it isn't as good as summertime fishing. Reaper, thank you for the 14 months. Love you too, appreciate that. Yeah, the guy I started fishing with last year as a shanty, so I might go out with him so I can at least be sort of out of the weather. But I don't know, my hands, man. Even now, sitting here, it's single digits outside, my hands fucking ache. The 
middle of March, end of April. I think it's probably safe today. I would, I should go look. I'm gonna. I bet there's guys out there ice fishing right now. Single digit weather. Yep, right in front of my house. One guy. Arthritis, yeah. Oh, you're the opposite? Yeah, you want to wait till it gets warm? Her? Even 11 a.m. on a Monday, motherfuckers out there. Come on, you stupid hoes. Hoes, hoes. I do not know the goal. If there is one, someone if people have hinted that there's an end screen. The only objective you're giving is given is to uh, fix your dad's car and not drink beer. I've succeeded at one of those things. The end is what racks it, yeah, chicken. What do you think do you get that? Yeah, I have prison tattoos from my long stay, my 20 days I did in jail. many days no idea I don't think there's a calendar at least 20 this one is such a motherfucker to get at I tell if the shit truck is full when the guy says, hey, it's full. Take my money. But yeah, only this end allows you to 
put it there. So you have to pull these the end out. Nah, the fullness levels of your tank, not of the shit in the... Oh, unless you're talking about, yeah, let's talk about the truck itself. The truck itself has a fullness gauge, which I should check before I start pumping. Oh, we can fit it. There isn't a get prism tattoos category? Wow. It wouldn't take very long. Suck, 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 suck. deserved your money. I have deserved it. Perfect. I do have not have the wheels down. This is the wheels down. Do I want to go suck off the last guy? Do I have room to suck off the last guy? Should be enough room in there. She's flipping. the axle down? I better check that really quick. No, it's down. She's just a tippy shit truck. 7,000 liters of shit gets her a tipping. Gently? Dude, I only drive gently. I hear IRL. Uh, liquid is one of the worst things to drive. The one that truckers tell me is the worst is uh, swinging meat. Freezers actually hang the meat. 
so when you take a corner, all that meat swings one way. septic is. I don't know anybody hauling cement in a semi. Semi trucks are different, but I would assume they'd be okay. I don't know. I've never done it. I just know from the truckers I've talked to, a lot of truckers in the Harley world. You didn't want your shit sucked, right? No, it's the next guy. Is that true, Yoga Proof? I thought, I mean, it makes sense. Liquid, you think, would just be really bad. I guess if liquid is really full, it's not terrible, but yeah. And you're Lidman. It's the next house, for sure. I'm gonna call truckers driving non-semis, not truckers. Uh, I'm sure it probably requires the same license, but it's a very different setup, right? Like this to me isn't truck driving because it's uh, an attached trailer. Like a fixed trailer, I should say, not attached, a fixed trailer. like a different levels of CDL which is driving big trucks um, and I don't know the rules on it because I don't have one but in my mind this isn't truck driving not what we call truck driving CDLA is generally a truck and trailer, CDLB is picture, yeah. Is that like a bus too, or is that separate? CDLC is large passengers like a bus, okay. I knew they were all CDLs, I just didn't know the which one's which. Is that to like 26, 6,000 pounds? Oh, really? That makes sense. Yeah, I know some guys who drive some big shit for construction jobs that I don't think have CDLs. Yeah, and then there's different endorsements for different types of hauling, like liquids. Different states have different trailers allotments too, right? Like, I saw in Ohio, they had fucker was pulling three trailers. And then I think there is a special one for hazardous material too, isn't there? Since last triple trailers, yeah, we only allow, I think, singles, maybe doubles now, but I think they're singles still. So. Doubles, triples, tanks, and passing, yeah. We have a trucking school that was just down the road from us, so. Really heavy shit like construction equipment, I think it does have to get to a certain weight of what you're pulling their vehicle and what you're pulling before you requires one. Yeah. I'm not certain though. No. 
Like, I don't know if this would require I IRL. I see a lot of hillbillies driving septic trucks. I don't know that this would require a special license. So I don't think it's quite big enough. You missed weather talk earlier. I had to rely on someone else's in, in, uh, advice. Oh, that's backwards. Is the pump up? I mean, I don't care too bad. Canceled appointment. Are you COVIDed? You know that yet? You get the goods? I haven't gotten your results yet. You know, you'd think the military would be faster about that. Or they didn't want your contaminated ass on the base. <laughs> Sounds right. That was kind of our, like I said earlier, we had to steal our COVID tests from somebody's work because we couldn't get them or get scheduled in for an appointment. Which I wouldn't have cared. I would have just waited it out. I think we're down to five days for everything but school. And school is still ten days. I think workplaces have some of their own rules depending on the workplace. from the test, yeah. Some workplaces are having people test every single day. Don't you tip over, you big shit mobile.
she is just juicy. The test isn't as bad as I expected. so vividly picture the feeling maybe i maybe they've gotten better but it wasn't that bad is the military considering discharge over it though wow oh, are they really I mean, it's not like it's new. Fuck you, I was just about to pull a clutch. Oh my god, it's just gonna fucking fall over on the side of the road. Just slide off the fucking road and fall over. Alright, this lives here forever. Now I will never flip this back up because I hated that experience last time. How? Because the fucking ground is ice and you cannot get anything to sit still no matter how many brakes you hold or press. They just slide. So it just slowly slid into this fucking ditch when I parked. One source of income. It's like a really bad income, though. It's definitely not great. I only do it in the desperate of times. Then I don't gotta empty it now, that's right. What's the best income at the moment for me? Wood. It just feels the easiest. It's like 15 minutes of work and you get 30, 200 bucks and the tractor's super fuel efficient. The problem with that is that thing is a gas hog. I guess it would be more effective now that I'm willing to gamble on farm diesel. The rear axle was lowered, more like. Thank you for the advice. Super helpful. I even got out and looked at it to make sure it was lowered. Feels like good income is big numbers. Yeah, but then you gotta dump it. it that would have been a thousand dollars to dump. And I don't know. If I would have used regular diesel, you'd be like three hundred dollars in diesel. But on farm diesel, you're like a hundred dollars in diesel. So we made like two grand. Not counting food, hunger, cigarettes, all that shit. We made like two grand. It's not. T it's not great. The best thing for it is to just fill the fucker all the way to the brim and let it sit.
I feel like there's still work I've undiscovered, but I don't know. We definitely still have some things that are changing, like Grandma, the drunk. Uh, fishing, Lindsay. Download games on the internet. I've got one downloading right now. I probably could get the poop truck flipped. I just, I know I could get it flipped. I just don't want to fucking, it's like a trial and error thing. I don't have any consistent way to do it. I just have to sit there and fuck off with it for an hour until it randomly gets lucky and stands up. Maybe I can drag it down that hill though sometime. We did what we need to do with it. We pumped all the septics at the moment. So that was all I had planned to do. I was just driving it back to town to get my car. Yep, it tipped sitting still. It slid slowly down a hill and fell over. I have not. I don't really want to it yet. One, it looks content lacking, and two, it's it's this game without this right here, which <laughs> to me, <laughs> this shit is frustrating. It is is necessary for the experience. It's just not punishing. The sequel is going to be my winter car. Which I thought was going to be a V8, but the car that everyone keeps telling me it's going to be didn't come as a V8, so I don't know. We'll see. How long did it take me to learn the map? A little while, not too bad. It's it's really just the circle. I think you die a lot just because everything's far apart, but uh, as far as like knowing where you're going. The snow plowing, dude. It is baffling to me that there is not a snow plowing simulator. I'm just saying, if somebody's looking to jump in the game dev market, I've never seen a snowplow simulator, and it seems like it would be a good simulator. Mm. 
You found one that looks pretty shit? I haven't seen any. So the fact that you found one. I think there's like a mod for it in uh, Farm Simulator maybe I heard. No snowmobile games even? I mean, whatever. Snowmobiles are dumb. <laughs> Sorry. My opinion. There's a snow shoveling sim in Roblox. Aw, oh, fuck. I don't think there's any snow falling in Snow Runner, no. I don't think so. I think it's just driving in it, right? They are fun. I mean, I think they're like the least interesting. One, it's cold. Cold sucks. You can't even argue that one with me. Is there a suck box there? Uh, and two, they're, they're just like the least interesting of the... options you know four-wheeler dirt bike wave runner wave runners are close though wave runners and snowmobiles are both pretty one time i had fun on a jet ski is uh in lake michigan like big waves really big waves What are you looking at exactly? A man walking in the dark? Everyone I know that rides a snowmobile just rides the trails to the bar, gets drunk, and rides home. So basically a motorcycle. Yeah, you need something to interact with. Otherwise, you're just driving in circles fast on the water. You need, like, a boat in front of you to jump its wake or something exciting to do. All right, I'm in the farmer's yard. Near this tree is a sucky. Huh, huh. No, it's grass. Oh, my God. I'm fucking daredevil, I'm telling you. Now where's that motor oil I dropped? That may be lost for now. Yeah, you, you seem like a jet ski guy, Doge. I can see you on a jet ski, smoking a cigar. Speaking of snowmobiles, I hear them. Thought it was my cousin about to run me over.
Like a boat, yeah. Dude, I don't know how anybody is brave enough to fucking go fast in a boat. This shit's terrifying. Fuckers doing 70 in a bass boat? Mm -mm. No thanks. I don't got the balls for it. My boat does like 35 and I'm satisfied with that. That's plenty fast. Don't need to go more than like three patrolling. Yeah, well you gotta get to places. And the further south you go, the bigger the fucking lakes get. Yeah, I wish I could pull a tube. I was thinking about adding the tubing thing to my pontoon, but... That was before... Now I just gotta sell that fucker in the spring. Hear my uncle coughing from here. A good tube driver is uh, a tough thing to find, man. Too many people's idea of tubing is attempting to rip your shoulders out of their socket. But you can throw somebody off without hurting them. Speed doesn't bug me as bad as the bad drivers with their stop and go that think they're good at driving a tube and just hurting people. Alright, I just spent $5 on nothing. Thank you, game. Push the wrong button. He's passed out in the bar again. Not still. Garbage. Give me the club. Pair of jacks, I'll take it. Beanie! Aww. Oh. pair. I need the money just to keep gambling. Bar's closed. Just me and coffee here. Beanie! Hell yeah.
Uh oh, it's not looking good, team. It's the first time I've walked out of here losing money on that in a long ass time. Where did I leave my car parked? Over here somewhere. Oh, it's right in the fence of the dump. Wait, I'm lost. Need to go back this way? I don't know, I'm lost. I'm found. I see my car. See it, chat? The shine of that sweet paint job. Don't mind the smoke, it's totally okay. I passed an inspection like this. didn't smoke like this. You know that. You've been here. The dar thing for the 40 months. I hope it's destroying all the new parts I bought, too. Because that would be extra funny. Yeah, that seems like it's getting much worse. Maybe it's in my head, though. It's all right. Once it breaks, then we'll know, since there's no other way to diagnose it that I can find.
We still have good oil pressure, so we still have plenty of oil in it. Oh, this is not the way to go. There isn't a performance variant of everything, so... And not anything that would do this. I legitimately believe the only answer is one of the new parts I bought is already shit. Which is nuts. I'm gonna go change the head gasket again. But yeah, I did the head gasket. It was the first thing that went wrong with the car, which is what led me to the path of I'm just gonna replace everything. So this head gasket, like tops, has 20 kilometers on it. And yeah, the head gasket isn't blown. I'm not saying I expected to get a hundred and thousand kilometers out of parts. It's a video game. I get that. Wear and tear is going to be faster. But uh, I expected to get more than three trips to town. Yeah, because, like, the rally, you're going to drive it hard, right? I haven't even drove it hard. There's... Everyone continues to think there's, like, a, a possibility of overfilling fluids. If there is, there's zero way to indicate it. The dipstick says I had full oil, not over full. And the radiator has no measure, no way to measure beyond it's full. radiator dipstick yeah let me check the radiator dipstick out Working on my car in front of his shop. Yep.
It's a brand new radiator too. A high performance radiator. The only high performance part I bought. The only possibility is that, that like, the only, like, uh, good possibility here is that I somehow forgot to replace my head gasket between fix it when I fixed my save file, but it was blown, so I don't know how that would be possible. The car lit on fire, the head gasket blew. The car lit on fire because the head gasket was blown, I'm pretty confident, was the order that things went down. But that head gasket is not blown. But we're going to replace it. It did, Dantian, yeah. I'm kind of afraid to save here. I guess I could sleep, but I'm afraid I'll sleep too long and Fleetari will be closed. sleep in my car I'm gonna try it man if he's closed I'm gonna be pissed at myself Sell me the head gas, it'll get the car out of your driveway. Talk shit about my fucking car. No, I didn't, Raptors. We're going to try replacing that gas because it's the most logical explanation for where it's smoking, in my opinion. Be because I can't replace any of the exhaust stuff that I know of without getting into performance parts. And it shouldn't require performance parts not to smoke. Oops. I forgot to tighten the bolts. There's actually a bug flying around me in real life too. This is hell.
kind of a mechanic doesn't sell oil and coolant. Sure, hardcore. It's possible. The annoying part is there's no way to indicate that it was worn. I didn't see any difference between the two. So there is the oil full or over full. Technically, you run this first before you take this check this dipstick, but I don't think the game's even going to make me do that. But just to make sure. That is not above the line for full. Yep, my head gasket just blew again wild or wasn't blown but was worn out already wild that's fast Yeah, no, you can't have a, a surplus of parts either. I didn't let it warm up. I'm a bad boy. Seatbelt, those are for cowards. did blow all of its one gasket. I have not ran it out on the highway yet. I've gotten it up to like a little over 100. Shit. You know what, we'll just... Do a UE.
Don't smoke and drive. Yeah, I didn't want to fuck around with performance parts like and rally tires and stuff like that until I passed inspection because I uh, figured I wouldn't. But I might have been wrong. Might have wasted money. I need to figure out if the drag strip is ever like actually open. It looks like it is. I don't know what days it is. So. Take this bad boy over there and run her out. Well, I got these uh, road tires on it. My car's getting a little warm, I think. You're probably lacking coolant from that head gasket that was shoddy. No, I have the upgraded road tires. Not the cheapest road tires, but the upgraded road tires. Where's my choke just not all the way in? Hmm, my fuel air mixture is getting off. Probably just something else going bad. Now nah, that temp is getting up there. I don't like that. I'm about to pull it over before I burn something up. So close to home though. I bet the coolant got pretty low. What happens if I do this? Oh, sweet. There we go. No, I've hit nothing since the uh, radiator replacement that I know of. That was my download. Oh, baby. That is the right number of numbers, right? Yeah. See this phone bill? We don't talk about it. We'll make our parents pay it. How's the brewing going? I don't know. It's not bubbling anymore, so maybe I should check it. This, how did I get this fucking lid off before? It's a color. That's kind of beer colored. What do you do with it though? I didn't think that far ahead.
coffee is cup to to coffee pot, so I was trying the same. I don't think I've ever seen empty bottles for sale. <laughs> Maybe you just dip your fucking head in it. Nope, <laughs> not that. What is in the bucket? We thought it was beer, but maybe it's not done. I don't know. It stopped gurgling, though. Oh, I forgot to get milk for Grandma. I really want to wait on this to finish now. That'll only be a minute. Is my core cool, cool car car cooler down enough I can put coolant in it? Yeah, it's got to have. Can't possibly get blasted in the face again. Seventy to eighty minutes. Finish minutes though, they're not as bad. Look at all the oil <laughs> and cooling I've gone through. Fuck, I'm out of cooling again. I think it was low on cooling because it was smoking like that, because it was leaking out of the head gasket. But I've also just never been able to get the thing to not consume fluids, ever. So I don't really know. I gotta take the long way back because I don't want a damn ticket. I shouldn't have put that much in it. Yeah, I shouldn't have put that much in it. I'm gonna regret that. Put in more eggs. I'm starving. Don't talk about eggs. I left my door open. That's a bad thing. Do I want to send in a mail order? I don't think there's anything I can really afford that's important at the moment. Okay, okay. okay.
dumb parts like spoilers. I guess I could get the uh, exhaust or a carb, but like why buy the middle of the road carb when you could save up for this fat daddy? Yeah, I don't think there's anything really. Exhaust would be the only. I'm not in the mood to fucking tear the engine apart to change the flywheel. I think it's like a 1.5. Yeah, I want attack, but I don't need it at the moment. It's not necessary at the moment. Before I race it, it will be. I don't think it's a one even. I think it's a one something. The problem with feel free to time me out if this is a spoiler is you already told me. So what good does timing you out do? You've already now told me. <laughs> Time me out if I just ruined this movie for you by telling you exactly how it ends. Somebody came in today and said the van is tippier in the recent updates, so it's not even my fault. The van's just tippier. That means I'm just an expert. I think the van is a fair amount of tippy. I wouldn't say it's overly tippy. All the vehicles, I think driving in this game is actually really good. Is it a, a one liter even a 988cc? I don't think we even did shit that small in the States. Because gas is like free here, so why bother? It's not designed to be utilized in this manner? I mean, I would beg to differ. It seems fine.
Well, this isn't the corner yet. We're not into the danger territory. This is Speed City here. Speed City, USA, baby. This is the killer corner here. The one that has killed me more times than anything in the game. That one will get you. Both directions is dangerous. I've known that corner is dangerous. Just sometimes I overdo it. Checking seatbelt for them popos. It's like none of you have played Dark Souls or anything. You know the enemy's attack doesn't mean you never get hit. Eyes peeled for the law. Got to run. I, for, I do forget, though, that you're all flawless gamers who never make mistakes. Once you know how to do something, you never fuck it up. Not even once. I'm afraid to just put real diesel on top of this now, because will I ever burn through the farm diesel, or am I going to put myself ah, in a scenario where I'm always riding dirty? I left the cap open. Rev it till the gas is gone. Good. <laughs> or just don't get caught. That's an option too. I could take the back roads. No, the gas mix is fine. It's not about mixing it causing a mechanical problem. It's about legality of the gas I'm using. I'm running farm diesel in it. Which is illegal to do on the street. Non-farm use vehicle. What defines farm diesel? It's a taxation thing. You pay less for it because you're using it for farming. Is the big thing. They're like 
some people say it's got more sulfur or something in it too sometimes but i don't know if any of that's true or not that that's irrelevant for the game Yeah, I'm gonna get supplies for Grandma. I just uh, didn't want it mixed in with my stuff. I'm gonna get Grandma two of everything, just cause. Because I love my grandma. That's why. She won't be home. She never is. Seatbelts are fucking dangerous. IRL, they don't check your tanks. Not in the States, anyway. Um, but it's, it's just a tax bullshit thing, right? Like, you gotta... Like everything with ta American taxes. You have to be able to... Pr if you get audited, you have to be able to prove that that gas was used for farming and not for personal use trips to Florida. And the, at least here, using farm diesel on the road is okay as long as it's farm work. So a cop will ask a farmer who's got farm, because they get separate plates and everything, too. So a cop will ask a farmer, like, hey, man, what are you doing out on the street? And then they'll be like, oh, you know, I'm headed over to the butcher shop to pick up a load of the meat, eh? They do color it, but... I think that's more just for an attempt to keep people honest than an actual check it to see. Minnesota, that's Minnesota, yeah. That was our USA's Canada, Minnesota. Might, like I said, un unfortunately with the United States, state to state is very different. But I know the farmers here regularly drive around on the road with it. Because, like, that's still farming, right? If you're pulling a load of hay or you're pulling a load of cattle or corn or whatever the case may be, right? Like, you're still, it's still farming. And yeah, people, then people just make shit up when they are, are lying. <laughs> like a restricted license anyone who knows anyone with a restricted license you can only drive to work or to certain things that are set by the court you just are always going to those things I don't know how they check the color. I've never, like I said, never heard of anyone actually doing anything with a color. I, I 
honestly thought that was more of a theft prevention thing than it was a check thing. They do the same thing with anhydrous here to prevent people from stealing it for meth. He's dyed pink. No way Graham will be out this hour. The Skeeters are out. Oh yeah, metal. Like, uh... My truck, anyone who's seen pictures of my truck, ridiculous black and orange, over the top, gaudy, jacked up thing. And uh, it's because my dad has a restricted license. So it's a business vehicle and he made sure that cops knew that it was a work truck by making it stand out like a sore thumb with lettering and One of his trucks even had like a caricature of himself painted <laughs> on the back. I don't have a picture of that right here. The end game of my summer car, autumn. That's a great answer. My winter car coming in like at least a year. I don't think this is actually in early access beyond the fact that it hasn't been removed. It was supposed to have been removed, like scheduled to have been, and I think they did the update and then just didn't remove it from... Don't you play that. Don't you play that. Is Northern Lion playing My Summer Car? No, he's playing uh, Manbazu. <coughs> God, that really is just a clone, huh? <laughs> It's a uh, My Summer Car clone done in French Canada. Very early access. I hear though. <coughs> I don't remember which bag was Grandma's. It was this one? It doesn't look like it intends to be as tedious or punishing as this, which, like, for better or worse.
Can't have those high highs without those low lows, I'm telling you. Yeah, I could see people wanting to be less miserable. I could see it. For sure. Because they're fucking cowards. Do I know why I'm losing coolant? Nope. Not sure that I still am. Is my download done? It is not. What are we downloading? Rally ninety five on our on the BBS. I don't know if I get a giant phone bill. I don't remember it affecting your phone bill in real life, but maybe it did in Finland. I just went to check my mail, though. I need to get that download done before I get out of here today. I don't know if I'm going to have time. Someone's calling me from Grundy, Virginia, Justin. Can't put a spoiler on the van. And no, I don't think that would affect its tippiness, except uh, taking high-speed corners. You're all a bunch of pussies. I take corners at like 30 fucking kilometers an hour. My nine-year-old can run that fast. Spring of pussies. Come on, baby. Oh, this takes fucking batteries, too. I already downloaded Fish Game. It's pretty tight. So, yeah, that did not fix that septic. I don't know how I'll ever fix this quest. I think this is going on. We started it two days ago in the evening, I think. We're going to get it done, though. Um, uh, sleeping doesn't download, which really sucks and feels bad. The word, the like least sim feeling thing of the whole game. I think it's done, I just need to put it in a container. But somebody spoiled the container for me, so now I'm just not putting it in the container out of spite.
fucking bug. Huh. Yeah, we're just waiting on a download now. We don't really got anything to do. Take groceries to grandma tomorrow. I could swap the springs back, but I don't feel like they did shit. She is still selling cookies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want a link? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me uh, pull it up. Not that link. You don't want a link to her dashboard. She does get sweet prizes. Uh, shit, I gotta type this number out somewhere else. 938 Yeah, uh, let's see, what are we at? We're at 700 and something. So the next prize is for 800. It's a koala pouch, water bottle, and water bottle. They give out a lot of prizes, like every 100 cookies. So some of them are tight and some of them aren't. Twelve fifty for the pearl necklace. Well, that's because at eight hundred, she's already gotten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven prizes. She's killing it though. She's leading the troop. Thanks, chat. It's not really. I guess it's kind of MLM. Except that the only person getting prizes is her. You kind of hope people will sell for you. She, she's learning to be a great capitalist. I taught her all about capitalism. It's a deli I mean, yeah, it's less scammy. Well, it's also saving me money, right? It's gone. By, by you guys buying cookies, she's going to get to go to camp for free. So, like, I'll gladly help. How much is camp? Uh, I don't know off the top of my head. But... I know that I'm in a position, and I talked to Alice about this, you know, we're in a position, I live in a small, poor town, and we're in a position where we can help raise extra money for the troop, because I do this for a living. And it's not like I'm frequently asking for 
<laughs> spent a lot of kid fundraisers I could have sh hit you all up for. Um, but uh, I was in Scouts, and I could not afford the fancy camps. So if we can help other kids in the troop also get to camp. And, uh, yeah, you know. We're also donating a bunch of cookies that were, cookies that were purchased uh, to be delivered, like, by hand. Those we're donating ourselves to local shelters and stuff. Which I know, like, cookies to a shelter is pretty fucking silly, but I don't know. Maybe it makes somebody happy. I think it'll be good for Alice to see it. Cookies round two? Hell yeah. Um, for those of you that I know a little closer to, if shipping is crazy, hit me up on Discord and I can work with you. It's not terrible for, like, a few boxes, but when you get into, like, ten boxes, shipping gets bonkers. I'm just killing time. I'm waiting for morning. I want to make sure I can sleep till morning. The first sergeant's on base to drop off pallets of cookies, yeah. Uh, Devolver bought a hundred boxes for us to donate and stuff, so people have been really cool, man. We haven't even started booth yet. The booth time, yeah, where we go sell cookies on the street. Apparently with COVID, they do drive through cookies, which sounds way easier than sitting outside of a store harassing people, but you just set up a little drive through thing and people can just pull up and stop and get cookies at the window. Hell yeah, drive through. Well, no, we still have to be out in the cold, but we don't have to, like, stand at the door and be like, excuse me, sir. We have this, like, sign set up and they pull up to us because they don't want us getting too close contact. I'm going to grab a drink. But it is fucking cold. And for some reason, cookies are a winter thing. I think there's, like, 100 days left. But yeah, money goes towards the troop. Uh, Alice's individual costs, uniforms, uh, camp, and then leftover extra money the troop has goes into like community projects, like building benches and I don't know. Feeding the poor or something. I don't I don't I, I've never had enough money to be charitable. here god damn and crunchy There's an option to deliver cookies. If you select the option to deliver cookies, then we will be donating those personally. I know that internationally it won't ship, so anyone who wanted to just pitch in internationally, um, if you select the personal delivery option, those will be personally delivering to shelters. I think we're going to start with uh, women's shelters. Seems like a good idea for Girl Scouts. That's my idea anyway. Abuse. Okay, I have knocked over a pile of junk. Yeah, my brother worked at some shelters through the state, so I know how shitty those situations are, moms and kids. be 
ark. All right, let's see if we can sleep long enough. Yeah, I don't even know the rules on shipping food like that internationally. You get into probably extra costs too because it's a food. I had chocolate mailed to me from Switzerland and so and candy mailed to me from Japan. Adventurefuls are new. They're like, uh, they're all right, man. I think they'd be tight with milk. Uh, they're like a fudge brownie. No, a caramel brownie. It's like a, a brownie cookie with a caramel top. They're kind of dry. They need something. You need milk. I was disappointed in their dryness. Let's go to Grandma. She's got to be there. You ever bite both ends off a of Thin Mint and use it as like a straw for hot? How the fuck do you? What are you talking about? What is it? Th it's not a Twizzler. How does this work? You just suck through the cookie? Thin Mints are the only, well, and now Adventurefuls are the only Girl Scout cookies I've ever had. Everybody's big on Samoas and uh, Tagalongs. I think those are top three. Thin Mints, Samoas, then Tagalongs. Tagalongs are peanut butter, I think, right? I also learned that there's different cookies based on where you live in the country. Who knew? And like, some of the cookies are the same, but made different based on where you live. Yeah, I know. I never wait for my car to warm up enough. It's just like real life. I haven't had to warm a car up ever. All right, all right, I'm gonna let you warm up. Yeah, I think it has to do with, I think, with where you're at in the country for which bakery they use. Yeah, so the car is the only vehicle you have to maintain as well. That's why you care more about it when you're driving it. The other ones aren't maintained by you. They're just tools to get you this fly whip running. All right, I did it again. We're still not ready. Why are you running like shit now? When in doubt, hammer fucking down. We passed inspection. 
She's running like a dream. Let's run it out. When this thing gets off the road, dude, it is ice. Excuse me? Something just fell off my car? It sounded like it anyway. That's the sound of things falling off your car. I don't see anything. No, the muffler's there. Bumper's there. Fender's there. Man, I pulled over to fucking turn the choke off, and I don't think I did. There we go. My fuel air mixture's off now. Why won't that open? Maybe it was just the toolbox closing back there. It seems like it's running really hot though. Compared to what it was. Dumbass fucking car. My fucking alternator belt is just gone. I thought it looked loose, but it wasn't squealing, so I was letting it run. The question is, did it fall off or did it blow up?
Yeah, this is old and has a timing chain. I just lose my water pump and my alternator. I kept driving after I stopped that first time. I do not want, no, I wouldn't make it to town. I don't think the battery go dead. The alternator is not charging, so. The water pump is the scary death because that's actually dam does damage. The alternator not charging just kills the battery. <laughs> Why did it fall off is the question. Did it break because uh, I thought it looked a tiny bit loose, but like I said, it wasn't making noise. Maybe it only makes noise when it's tight. I don't see it anywhere here, though. Or did it just fall off? There's no easy way to tell the belt is tight. I don't like it. <coughs> I guess just take it till it's fucking squealing and back it off. But I don't want it too tight. Then you're probably doing damage to your alternator and your water pump. It sounded like it fell off because it made the click sound like it, like a part coming off your car. And it's not very old either. It's not like it's a used belt that I put on the car. They're pretty cheap, I think, though. Uh, I mean, it's new to, it's not the belt that came with the car like all the other pieces were that we've replaced. But glad I watched that temperature gauge or I would not have noticed. Is that it? I think it was for, I think we would have seen it by now if, if it fell off. Yeah, in this game, if your battery goes dead, it's dead forever. So you don't want to fuck around with that. depend on a few things there was on the car what you have running as well accessory wise not long though but yeah like we had the radio blast and the bass bumping air conditioning on those kind of things would all affect that Unironically, that it was probably the head gasket, more like. <laughs>
Didn't see it. Yeah, we did a lot more with air cooling um, in the past, too. So hot summer days, especially if you're sl going slow or sitting and leaving it running when you're parked and stuff like that was a lot harder on cars than it is today. I didn't put out my road triangle. I don't think he ever comes down this road unless you tell him to. I did leave it right in the middle of the goddamn road, I think, too. Anybody see that belt? Grandma's milk ain't gone bad yet. And that fan is still running, huh? Here you go, Doge. Yeah, I got that thing get hotter than I wanted it to. rolling into my car. My throttle is sticky. That's my excuse. Listen to it stick. God damn it, now I got two bags of groceries in there. I don't remember which one's grandma's. So thirsty. Grandma, let me suck your hose. I mean, the real way to flip your car is to sit there and shove on the fucking wheels and break the physics that way. I guess maybe there are people out there who just go get their tractor every time. But well, there's plenty of ways to get your vehicle flipped over, the smaller vehicles like this flipped over without using a, an item. I don't think patching it out would be an easy task because it's just physics in the game are fun. It causes just as many issues as it does helpful, helpful situations. Accidentally launching shit out of your car into the lake. 
Grandma. The bitch is here. I got you some milk. No, but the fish I peed on, Doge, have, they just last forever on the ground and aren't rotting away, so I can snack on them sometimes when I come visit her. Some sugar. Some more milk. Some saucies. Some more sugar. Some more saucies. Grandma's tea doesn't fix my thirst problems. Coffee. They should go to work. Not you, Grandma. Not you. Yeah, that's how uh, some people drink, is out of the saucer. The Vetus has hit her cat. Shouldn't have got her two bags of sugar. No, it's legitimately how some people drink, chat. You just have to say it every time. Use the saucer to cool it down. She's so Italian. Wahoo! This is probably based off the dev's grandma. I mean, this is an actual picture of a place that looks a hell of a lot like Timos. Down to the bike racks and the plastic chairs. <laughs> Holy shit, Grandma. <laughs> you don't gotta scream at me. Apparently it's like an old-timey dialect or something someone was saying. Obviously the voice is exaggerated, but the... Where she's actually using are a little outdated. Like you'd expect a grandma, I guess, that's all. Check out my tats, grandma.
kaikki ja viinakuskina ja ukkoon matkustaja ja sillä mennään vaikka alana ääri. Ei vaan silloin kun ennen kuin rahat loppuu. My uncle might have something for me. She said that before. About time, Grandma. Reaching into those deep ass pockets. Fifty-two dollars. That barely pays for the groceries I bought your bitch ass. God damn it, Grandma. Sorry about the mess. Is there anywhere else I needed to go? Get a belt. My windshield, I just blew my windshield out. There have been multiple interactions. Um, I don't know to the extent with everyone, but there have been varied interactions. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, no. Buddy. It's fine. Wasn't even scared. Yeah, I backed into this, like, uh, I don't remember what this is called on a car. There's a term for it. Into that and smash the windshield up. Makes sense. The, what is that called? I don't remember. Oh, 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 oh. A pillar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Though that would have been confusing to say. I backed into the pillar. They would have thought I meant like a pillar. I wonder if it's less dangerous to try to shortcut this way. Oh, doesn't feel less dangerous right now. That didn't feel less dangerous. Merging! M merging! Those move? an eye out for the popo. We got this illegal fuel in here. 
We're safe. Never seen him past this point. Move the bus stop to your house, more like. That was my idea. <laughs> Having no windshield also illegal? Why? Finland's so strict. You can't live your life in fear, man. Wait, did I not empty this last time I was back? I guess not. Oh, those are expensive. Thanks, Timo. Yeah, we stopped off, dropped everything at Grandma's. She gave us forty dollars or fifty or some some amount that sucked. backup belt? What do I look like? I made of money? We have no idea what our phone bill is going to be this month. We downloaded Rally 95. As far as I know, in the States, fuel oil is very different than diesel, but I could be wrong. But it is possible that people use diesel as fuel oil in other parts of the world. Nah, you were mistaken there, Wheeler. Gasoline is a refined diesel. The byproducts from refining diesel into gasoline make things like plastic and stuff like that. Red diesel is used for farm here, um, but that stuff is labeled as fuel oil, I guess, according to Finns. But yeah, the interesting part of that, Wheelie, is 
Americans were used to seeing diesel be more expensive than gasoline, where in reality diesel is a product before gasoline. A, it should be a cheaper product by the amount of work and work involved. And in most parts of the world, diesel is actually cheaper. Or was, I don't know about today. I don't keep up with the world anymore. I ain't got time for that shit. You have a sticky throttle? I don't know how I flipped there. Just did. It won't let me stop driving. There we go. Do you pay less? No tax on diesel. No, not unless it's for farm use. Like, that's what that red stuff would be where I'm from. But you also don't buy that at the gas station around here. They bring it to you. And farmers have, like, their own tanks like that on their property. They get refilled every so often. Some days you just want to be a bastard about it, eh? How would you get the car without the sofa? You could flip it with your other vehicles, or... I'm no good at this because I never do it, but... You rock it and roll it, baby, till it flips up. What the fuck is the deal? Weird. Some people have said that farm diesel has higher sulfur. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm not a diesel guy. It's just not a thing here unless you're, like said, a farmer or heavy equipment guy. I live in a cold-ass climate, so, like, diesel really got... And with the price of gas, diesel really just it wasn't popular here. It's getting more popular again in, in, like, everyday trucks. Now that we've gotten way better with, like, engine heaters and stuff like that, and you're not fucking around with glow plugs anymore. Ooh. Remote stuff, too, so you can just hit a button and your truck starts warming up. It was the head gasket, again. Then the belt blew. Or fell off, we're not sure, but we're just replacing it anyway. Mm. 
No, Richard. You should slow down. Fuck that hammer down. Mm. Go slow. The trains will get you. Uh, uh. Can I put my seatbelt on? Fuck no, I didn't. Well, there's only one safe place to go then. If I can take the battery out, Dan, and see if the alternator will keep it running without the battery. Oh, the position? Yeah, I played around with alternator position. But it's basically just squealing or not squealing. To squeal or not to squeal? The alternator's question, don't you dare tip over. That's right. I'm the boss. Battery's dead now, probably. Somehow the fan is still running. And it's still rolling. Mm, can I do this with the... Yeah, that'll be fine. I'm sure. I just have no idea what side is on this belt. Can't feel it. This is still bouncing slack in it, but I don't think I can get any tighter than that. I wish my fucking car would stop moving.
And now I'm afraid it's too fucking tight. I don't, I, yeah, there's no way to feel it. It does just want, feel like it wants to be all the way tight. remember where I was headed. I was taking the groceries to grandma, right, but I did that now. I can check on rally game. No, I took her some sausage and shit. They probably could tow the van. I just don't need to. It's not like we're that far from home. Yeah, we've slid off the road and down into a fucking ditch. No mail yet? I'm waiting on this phone bill. Yeah, you can get off road tire. And suspension and all kinds of shit. Mm -hmm. It's expensive, and I'm very poor. Oh, baby.
Global Rally Grand Prix. Oh, do they have multiplayer if I would have left it connected? Locked content. Handle all the power of this guy. done beautifully done what happened not enough memory Let's stick to games that are more our computer speed. Money to steal. I have negative a hundred dollars because I was fined. Into back to back fines? Come on now. Caught a fish. I don't think it's possible to reel a fish in from that far away.
fish. Ain't no fish in this goddamn lake. Just fines and robbers. Soak, steal my goddamn beer. I got no work to do. This one's bugged. Just living life now on a Wednesday. How would I know if I could upgrade my RAM? I feel like you of all people have heard the how would I know more than any person. I have not played this game before. There is a toilet, but why would I use that when I could just pee on the ground? I would assume that that was just a troll, a very funny troll, but I do not know. Okay, car. I pretend like that's going to help, but we both know it won't. The computer was mail order, so it just, I got what I got out of the mail. This was it. I'm just a huge liar. Six and twelve. I'm gonna put my long springs back on, even though I'm not sure they're helpful at all. But they're mine. Should have brought the toolbox closer. Oh, you fell off the jack? Good. Good. That's what I wanted to happen. Maybe I don't need the jacket up. Oh, I left my van down the road. I don't think I think I tried to paint these springs before though.
that ass up. Okay. Come on now. You son of... Oh my god, I hate you so much. I want to fucking yeet you into the lake. There you are. Damn it, game. Put it back. Put, put, just put it back in there. Go in your hole. Time to run this fucker in the rally this weekend. It's ready. <laughs> it's ready. Pretty dented, so that way you don't feel bad when you wreck it. Oh, come on now. Let me touch the handle. Rust holes or weight reduction, yep. I'm going to leave parts all... I can't believe it got registered, though. Proud. I'm going to leave parts all over the goddamn track, I'll tell you what. That's what we need right there, man. Give me that. Go faster and faster as you shed parts. The problem is controlling it the minute it comes off the road at all. NOS feels less like a rally thing and more like a drag strip thing, which I don't know when the drag strip's fucking open. We don't need the racing belts and seats. That's not, those aren't important. That doesn't make you go fast. They may not let me rally without some of that stuff, though. I don't actually know. 
I've never seen how to sign up for it. Yeah, suspension really does feel like the first thing to fucking buy. That and rally tires. Until I can keep the thing on the fucking road, I don't need to go faster. break options weirdly who needs them all handbrake there won't be after I'm done that's right Alright, I gotta get my kid a hole from the bus here in a minute, so I think since I'm run out of things to accomplish. Where did I put? leaking no idea so if you can upgrade the PC I would just have to wait for something to come in the mail yep it's still leaking guess we lost the cell phone again probably uh no we know where it's at it's sitting on a hill somewhere it's not lost i probably ran it over a couple times i ordered the compu computer out of the mail but it's just a flyer buy it or don't Yeah, still losing fluids. Don't get it. No clue. Just forever both coolant and oil. Just forever have to be added. I guess. Every single part in the car has been replaced. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here because I got to go get my kiddo off the bus. I appreciate everything you do for me. Uh, I'll be back maybe tonight, probably tomorrow morning again. I'll probably another day stream. We'll see. Have a good day.